Welcome back, eSim Studios. I apologize for the dim lighting, but uh, what we're going to be doing today is if you got a new S25 series, so <clears throat> S25, S25 Plus, S25 Ultra, signing into the device for the first time, right? So I put a video out last year and the year before for the S24 Ultra or S24 series and S23 series. In the past, before the S24 and S23, say I get a Note 20 Ultra or S22, you could just simply sign, you could just skip the setup process. Like when you first turn it on like this, you could essentially skip through all these pages and just go directly to the home screen. If you don't want to sign in, if you don't want to transfer a SIM, uh, if you don't want to transfer your data, you could just boom, 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 go right to the home screen. Well, Samsung's changed that for the S23, they required a SIM and for the S24 required a SIM to be put in. Now, you're required to not only put in a SIM, but uh, you're required to sign into your Samsung account. So what if you just want to, boom, go to the home screen and bypass everything, right? Well, you clicked on the right video. So let me show you how to do it. If you have, uh, well, let's just do this. So it looks black. Normally, uh, if you're watching this and trying to sign in or trying to get to your home screen, uh, yours will be all white. I actually went through the setup process, um, but before I went to the home screen, uh, I backed out of everything. I did choose black uh, and backed out of everything so I can record this video. But let's say here's where you really want to start. Here's the home screen. Either you bought it brand new or let's say you bought it used, right? And they factory reset it. Now, uh, here's a tip. You got to remove your face ID. You got to remove your fingerprints. You got to remove your screen lock. Uh, so if you have a pattern or pin, you got to remove that. And then you also have to remove your all your accounts, your Google accounts and your Samsung account before you factory reset it. If you factory re reset it without doing any of those, when you sign in, it's going to ask you, hey, what's the previous user's password to this account? So even if you factory reset it and let's say you forgot to remove your Google account, whenever you factory reset it and it comes back on, it's going to ask you for that account password. So uh, just for try to prevent stolen devices being refactory, reset, and, and, and resold. But anyway, so let's say you bought this brand new or used from somebody who removed everything and then factory reset it. So let's do this. So typically, this is the setup process right here, right? I just, I just hit select all and we'll agree. Now, it's always wanting you to sign in. It's always wanting you to transfer. But again, what if you just want to go to the home screen? Well, I want to set up manually, right? I don't want to, I don't want to transfer anything. Now, here's what you're going to do. If you're at home, an office, or let's say you're at a McDonald's or a Walmart with a free Wi-Fi. If you want to get to the home screen, do not sign in to Wi-Fi. So let's say, let's say typically, here's where people get caught up. And it's really easy to do because you do it without even thinking about it. So I connected to my, I previously connected to Google Wi-Fi. So if you're connected to Wi-Fi, Connect to a mobile network? No, I wanted, we just want to get to the home screen, but I did sign into Wi-Fi. Do you want to copy apps and data? No, I want to go straight to the home screen. Sign in? No, I want to go right to the home screen. Yes, I want to skip. No, I want to go straight to the home screen. Skip anyway. Okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, Samsung account. Now, when it gets here, Sign in to get started. There's no skip button. Sign in with the QR code uh, or sign in if you have a Samsung account to your email or phone number. Now, where's the skip button? The only thing down here, it says forgot password or if you don't have an account, they'll force you to, to sign in uh, to or make a Samsung account just to get to the home screen. So what if I don't want to do that, right? So... That's where a lot of people, there's no skipping to the home screen. Well, now, if you want, now this, this new version, this new way of getting straight to the home screen involves skipping this process. And on the S23 and S24, they would require you to, to put a SIM card in your phone. Now, here's how you skip everything. Here's how this, this version works S25. Uh, this is, I guess, the newer updated version. So here's what you're going to do. Now, we're going to restart this real quick, just like uh, you're starting the uh, device. 
and I'll show you the uh, little secret. Come on now. Go back to the startup page. The key is don't put a SIM card in there. Skip and turn off Wi-Fi. So don't sign into Wi-Fi. Don't put in a SIM card and it won't ask you for uh, your Samsung account, right? Watch. So that's off. We'll skip here. Yes, we'll continue without Wi-Fi. Now, there's no SIM card in here. So there, it, it gives you a signal, but there's no SIM in here. So it'll go through this, check if there's a SIM or an eSIM. Set up, there's none. So we're going to set up in settings later. Copy apps and data, don't copy. Protect your phone, we'll skip that. Skip anyway. Uh, services, yeah, whatever. Samsung services, yeah, whatever. Now, here's where it's asking you. Check your region. Depending on your region, we may have to restrict inappropriate content in Samsung apps for minors. Well, I'm not in Utah, so I'm going to hit uh, other state. Now, if you're in the U.S., I would select other state because if you select I'm outside the United States, it's going to give you some janky Samsung services or services that are not optimized or some, some Samsung services that aren't even offered to you, like good luck won't work uh, in some regions. So uh, in the U.S. it will. So I, su I suggest just hit other state and don't choose the – now, if you're outside the U.S., choose outside the U.S. But if you're in the U.S., just hit other state. It doesn't ask you specifically, but uh, now choose your display. You can go with light or dark, whatever. Next, yeah, look at that. So the secret is, if you want to get straight to the home screen, don't put a SIM card in there and turn Wi-Fi off and then you can skip everything and go directly to the home screen. Again, a little modified. I did want to make a video. I'm sorry. I know this phone's been out for, uh, shoot, what, uh, two or three weeks now. And I meant to make this video sooner, but I, I honestly just forgot about it. But I'm signing into this device uh, um, right now, and it just uh, sparked my memory. Hey, I need—I forgot to make a video about that. So this is kind of like the updated version, the little bypass, hack, fix, uh, DIY, going straight to the home screen, because it can get confusing. You're like, what the hell? I don't, you know. So anyways, long story short, no, don't put your SIM in there and turn Wi-Fi off. And then just skip, 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 skip straight to the home screen. And there you go. So if you got any questions, uh, give me a holler in the comments. I check them every day. And uh, please stay safe. I will see you all on the next one. Peace out.